Alright guys, I am back. Uh, I'm back into this. This is episode 4. Uh, oh yeah. I'm over level 18, which uh, I don't know if I got I got new trucks or anything like that. I haven't really been paying attention to that, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> now, in this episode, I'm going to try and get a new garage. That's going to be my goal. Or either that or I can update the other one. So, either way. Either or. I don't mind either way. Um, so here we go. I got, I got three employees now because I hired that one at the end of that, the previous episode. Malcolm White, Eric D, and Astrodel. Astrodel, I've had her from the beginning, so she's all good with me. 138,000, that's, that's how much we've driven it, I guess. And then these, oh no, these are, uh, these must be, um, how much they've been driven all together. Yeah. So, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, um. This is pretty cool. So, we got this tiny, this small one here. If I go ahead and upgrade, we can get these two slots here. Or, we could just buy a new one and get three. So, I don't know. Uh, upgrade is $100,000. Yeah, so. I'm going to do that whole thing in this episode. So, I did mention earlier, my goal uh, was to do a $100,000 job. And as you can see, there's really not many $100,000 jobs anymore, unfortunately. You got just go long distance jobs from Artesia up to Oakland. Yeah, it's a pretty long road. But I'll tell you what. Uh, oh, 620. <laughs> what are these ones? Oh, they're really cheap. They're local j deliveries. Okay, I see. That sounds good. Okay. Anyway, I'd say we, we're going to do one of these. These ones right here. Anhydrous ammonia. 3,000. This isn't going to be that much. This is a, this is going to be an easy one. It's just a long drive. We should be going through Ehrenberg and Huron and Oakland, which we've never been to before either. So, yeah, let's just do that. So, like I said my before, my goal is to do a $100,000 job without messing it up at all. To, to be complete, I don't know how that's going to be possible for someone like me. Because I just crash all the time. <laughs> and then I got a fake goal of a hundred thousand dollars a hundred million actually. Hundred thousand, I've already done that. <laughs> uh it's probably never gonna happen. But I'll tell you what, like five thousand or five million, ten million, that's kind of the goals we should probably be keeping in mind here. My actual like set goals, not the not the joke ones, are mostly the business stuff, you know? Own, own a, I, I plan to own a garage in every single state that I have access to. I didn't even talk about that. Yeah, that's one of my goals. I want to own a, I want to own a garage in every single state. I feel like the next one is, should be in California. Because, um, there are most, a lot of the jobs are going either to there or from there. I think the game was originally built in California. And then the DLCs in the different states. So it would make most sense that most of the content comes from there. So I might consider doing like one or two garages in California. Even though it's pain in the ass to drive in there. I hate it. But again, I'm not going to be the one based out of there. So haha. -ha. If you don't like working for me, get a job somewhere else. Everyone gets into business like, oh, I'm going to be a benevolent CEO. Oh, I'm going to care so much about my employees, but not me. Apparently, I've never been on this road before either. Yeah, this is... I'm off the highway a little bit, but... Uh, oh, this is this is pretty cool. So, yeah, this truck has no problem towing things like this. Most of these are long distance because I ranked that up first, but once I get to ranking up the other categories, I think that um, uh, the other categories will also get um, expensive, you know? So we'll, we'll start making a lot more money off of them. And I think it works that way with the employees too, so it's important to, you know, whatever your employees level up, you know, when they balance their particular areas. It's, there's a way you can do that. Hold on, let's see. So uh, I still haven't gotten used to this. So. If you want him to focus on a specific thing, again, you could do, uh, you could change. So if I say, so he's hazardous materials, so if I wanted to change it to that, I could do that. And then he will put all of his levels in hazardous cargo first before um, doing anything else. I haven't really decided to do anything like that, uh, but um, 
if I come up with a more efficient way of doing this, then yeah, I, I'd say I'd say that's important. And we can also see what jobs he's on. So he's doing big cargoes from Vegas to Flagstaff, and he finishes in six hours. Um, he's not making a lot of profit per distance right now, but uh, he just started. So these guys are making six dollars per mile, five dollars per mile, and as they get uh, a higher rating, they're gonna level up. So that's how that works. Personally, my solution to that problem is just get a lot of employees, and it'll take care of itself. Astrodel made seven grand, so uh, that should cover any any problems I get from fines along this way. I should be practicing to get excellent again, and uh, for the thousand dollar job, but I'm not hundred thousand dollar job, but I'm not. <laughs> Screw that. Anyway, guys, turn on to the highway. Here we go. Again, I haven't been on this highway either, so... You can actually see quite a bit. If I look at the map, I was seeing this earlier. World map. This is how much I've, I've driven. <laughs> All the yellow has been what I've been to. Man, I'll tell you what. Okay, we're going through Las Cruces, I guess. So we're still in New Mexico, looks like. Uh, I guess this isn't a highway because we got stoplights. Maybe it's just like a, a state route or something. All right, so I have my waypoint set to a fuel station and a, and a place where you can sleep, but I'm, <laughs> I'm very dangerously low. I'm also really tired, so I wish I could sleep here, but I guess I can't. But... I definitely do need to get gas or else I'm going to be stranded and tired and that's not fun. Five dollars, man. Well, I guess this is kind of a weird location for it, so. Alright, that is the biggest fuel bill I've had in a while. One thousand one hundred dollars. Alright, now time to make our way over to uh, the rest stop area. We cut the drive in half. We got ten hours to drive when we wake up tomorrow. Okay. Now it's time to go to bed. <laughs> it's nice just to see my bank account go up, even when I sleep at night, you know. It's nice to see. Anyway, let's get back on the road. New road in California. I can only go 55. This is legitimately, this is so painful. Ah, come on, dude. Dude, this should make me freaking governor. I would put this into legislation to get rid of this stupid 55 mile an hour rule. Alright guys, we're finally in Oakland. Nice little drive up here. That was kind of easy after taking those big ones the other day. Not bad. Um, I'm just going to be cruising on in here and uh, yeah, making a uh, right turn from the looks of things to this little shipping yard. That's pretty cool. Oh, I thought I had to do another security check. I guess not. Boom, I'm here. Oh, man, look at that. You get the water out here in this. I would love to see, like, a beach. So far from this little port area. That... I mean, the port looks nice. Don't get me wrong. Okay, here we go. Boom. Okay, and leave it right here. Excellent. Ah, that's right. I haven't seen excellent in forever. Time taken 33 minutes plus the 10 hours or so I slept. So that's what, 23 minutes? That's not bad. 87,000. Alrighty. What we got here? Statistics, $240,000 in revenue. Average daily profit, six. Let's go ahead and upgrade her for 100,000 bucks. Now we got our first big, look at this. First big truck headquarters. Oh man, that looks nice. Man, we're gonna ship so much stuff out of this thing. Look at that. Well, let me turn around and get a nice thumbnail with the water and the ships and everything. That looks sweet. <laughs> All right, let's head on over here and repair our car because we did crash it a little bit. I don't know how much, but oh, 1,900, not bad. Nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead and top up our gas a little bit. See how much we owe here? $600, all right. Look at my money, 60 grand, and eh, it didn't actually go up, okay. Maybe there is limitations to my money gathering powers after all. Here's a cheap one, uh, 66, but it doesn't have to go through California, so I'm happy. I'm not really going for the money at this point. I just um, 
Oh, I, I missed the turn. I'm trying to, you know, level up as much as I can, get some stuff up. So we have a higher chance of getting a $100,000 job, so I could try that again. The other one was 93000 and it's just shy. I don't click bait, guys, all right? I do $100,000 jobs perfectly before I put it in the title. Mark my words, I will get to use that title at some point. Here we go, 66, take job. Back to hazardous products. Maybe I, maybe that really is my calling in life. Just gotta deal with hazardous materials all the time. I'm getting fined here. I got three fines so far for avoiding sleeping. There was literally nowhere to sleep on that road. What do you want from me, game? Anyway, the closest one, ironically, was my, um, <laughs> my garage. So here we are. I'm just gonna go to bed. Okay, now time to get out of here. How do we do this? Trailer damage 15%. Man, I don't need any more damage. Come on. All right, let's see how much I owe for being a loser this time. Reasonable. 200 gallons, 31 because I slept a little bit. 17,000. Nice. On a job that really wasn't making me a lot of money to begin with. Okay, let's start with fragile cargo. And I kind of want to see if our truck will do this one up here. It's a really easy one. It's just to a few towns over. Shouldn't take that long at all. I just kind of want to see if it can run it. Of course, this truck hasn't had many problems doing that lately. I just figure it might as well, right? So this one right here, it's just a Las Cruces, huge construction, and it's 121,000. Or we could do this one, which is 60. I think 60 is probably the play, because uh, 121 is bigger than the 90, so. Trucks, tanks were refilled and driving hours restored. Oh, okay. Okay, surprisingly it works just fine. I mean, it's less... It's, you know, it's less poundage than the other one, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but whatever. Now I remember this all too well. You know, there was a time where a $10,000 job would be like, really? Nice for me. Not anymore, I'll tell you. Man, I've become an elitist at this point. I only want the $100,000 jobs. Oh, it's a little hard going up this hill. <laughs> oh, you can't really see much, but... Yeah, oh man, come on, you can do this. Ah, there we go. Oh, this turn's gonna be painful. Oh, are you, why were you sitting there? You know I need a large turn circle on this thing, come on. Move, man, get the fuck out of my way. Come on, give me this one. Yes, all right, that's good enough. All right, good night. Big in America, that's right, 14,000. All right, time for me to get out of here. I'll be back soon. All right, sorry about the wait on that, guys. Of course, the wait was nothing for you, but it was a few days for me. I haven't played this in quite a bit. Uh, I've had some other stuff to do, but I'm back. I have a um, jury duty, and uh, <clears throat> of course, I have a real-life full-time job, so I don't spend all my time on YouTube. Maybe if it was a little bit more profitable, I could work on a sort of a part-time shift and have more time for YouTube, but yeah, that's just not in the cards right now, you know? We need some- oh, I don't need to turn there, that's right. So my oral surgery is actually tomorrow, and uh, in, in real life anyway. So I'm trying to, you know, do all this stuff and get it all done before then. Hopefully I can get this episode out before the surgery is all happens, because, you know, I'm gonna be out of commission for about a week, you know? I've got, you know, videos are pre-recorded, they're gonna still come out, so uh, don't worry about that, guys. I'm not coming off my schedule, so if you're interested in that, but yeah, that's basically it. Or maybe it might be a while before you see this episode anyway, so. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do this on the normal schedule or record upload these the same as my Minecraft series. I don't know. I just thought it was cool to release it, get stuff ready, people want me to continue this series, so I might just make it like a weekly episode thing. So I recorded a Wee Happy Few episode with the old method of fraps for old time's sake, you know. I forgot how much of a pain dealing with that software is, so basically, um, yeah, uh, I recorded for about 30 minutes and it ended up being 100 gigabytes. Very poorly, uh, 
compressed, if at all. I can't believe I dealt with that stuff back in the day. I, I don't even, I have no idea how I managed to do that. It's like, no wonder I don't, I didn't save my old videos back in the day. A lot of people were wondering, oh, if you save your videos, why didn't you have the raw footage back in the day? And that's why. <laughs> I would have to buy hard drives monthly to store all that. All right, freight market. Let's see here. This is another $100,000 job. That's the reason I was over here. So if I get 100 k for this job completely and I don't lose anything from being an idiot, I can finally use my clickbait because, well, technically it wouldn't be clickbait then. I only ever allow myself to use funny titles like that if it is true. Okay, I'm not about to clickbait everybody and say, oh, it's a hundred thousand dollar job, and then it only be like an 80k job because I crashed into stuff. I will only ever use it if I get a hundred thousand dollars at one time. When I get done with this, I should have two hundred thousand, which hopefully should allow me to get two used trucks. I don't know, uh, I guess they're only like 80k, I don't know, like the used trucks plus whatever it is to you know, fix them because I want to max out my garage capacity and get some uh, dr more drivers out there because, you know, we need to make more money. I would take advantage and hire the high drivers what I want and just leave them there, but um, unfortunately you get an email from them and be like, hey, there's no truck here and I'm poor, I can't pay the bills, so like, I'm not going to be able to stay with you anymore. Which I guess that makes sense, but you kind of have to hire and get get whatever you happen to come across. I like these shots; they're very cinematic, coming in through here, just onto the onto the highway and stuff. <laughs> yeah, and I guess I can technically keep a closer eye on the the back. If I was the truck driver in real life, I wouldn't have that luxury, though. I wouldn't know what the heck is happening behind me. So you gotta be really careful that you're not crashing it into stuff like I do. This is the amount of care and dedication you have to put into if you want to sling this thing cross country and get a hundred thousand bucks, you know? Anyway, 25 hours. I've done these before. It just takes a long time. 1400 miles. Let's go. I didn't set my cruise control up for this new speed limit back there, but to be completely honest with you, it seems that, uh, that it's gonna go down to 65 anyway, so... What do I need to matter? Here you go. 65. Let's get down to it. And then press C again. There you go. Don't worry about your turn signal. Slam it on your brakes. It'll figure it out on its own. Steamboat Springs. I didn't get to, I didn't show this when I was driving because the footage corrupted. But I was talking about my buddy Halo. He lives around here. Maybe I'll see him. And I'll, I'll wave to him. <laughs> Yeah, if only that's how it worked. Or maybe I did show this, I don't know. But uh, I, I promised I would only show footage uh, of things that I haven't been. Technically, I have been here, but um, the footage may have corrupted, so I don't know if you guys actually saw it. But this is a nice road. It's a, it's a good change from the constant desert that we see all the time, you know. It's got a little bit of that feature, you know, mixed in with the trees and stuff. This is kind of like more what I'm used to. Uh, around where I live, actually, on the opposite coast. Don't turn red, don't turn red, we're good, we're good. Hey, I didn't get to show... Did I show this part? I don't know. But anyway, we're through the Eisenhower Tunnel now. Well, let's go ahead and get gas while we're over here, because we're definitely... Well, in about two hours, we're going to sleep, and uh, I don't want to have to stop and get gas, too. I just want to take off in the morning. 492. Fuel prices aren't too bad today. All right, picky back up. This is what a trick I've learned. Um, decouple your trailer. That way, you won't crash it into stuff. <laughs> Foolproof. All right. Oh, shit. My bad. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Here you go. Again, you know, uncouple this this would not be allowed in real life, but I mean I don't get a I don't get a ticket for it, so that means it's allowed. Alright, next day. Uh oh, I pressed seven instead of F7. F7, press F7, I got zero damage, so I actually managed to make it this way without crashing so far. Now watch me screw it all up. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Oh, this is not good. Oh, bad decision. Oh, well, 
As long as the trailer isn't damaged. Come on. Don't. Are you kidding me? Why? Dude. Ah, uh, man. Make this driveway impossible to get out of. As far as I know, 1% damage is alright. So as long as I don't damage it anymore, we should be alright. I just made $8,000 from Astrid <laughs> off camera. I should not have ended my recording so quickly. Man, that was awesome. Okay. Eight grand. Whatever whatever I get a speeding ticket, that should that should cancel it out. I haven't gotten one yet, but it's only a matter of time. Oh my god, this is nerve-wracking. Man, I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to going 80 in this friggin' thing. I mean, in a normal car is alright, but when you got like a bunch of fucking cargo, yeah, that just oh, that's now down to 60. Goes from 80 to 60? Well, it doesn't last very long. Two thousand <laughs> Well, that's still less than I spent on that one, so whatever. Anyway, I got like, what, six hours left? I can't remember. I, I left it on the street. Nobody seemed to care. I've been whipping it through California, and I don't know if I can see this. As you can see, I was given a, a ticket for doing basically nothing. I mean, I was only going 11 miles above the speed limit. But that's because it's stupid that it's 55 only, you know? I mean, it's not my fault. I bet that law was made by someone who's never driven a semi-truck in their life. They don't understand the struggle, guys, you know what I mean? Sitting at these red lights that never turn green. Freaking stupid. Of course, I guess we only got ourselves to blame. If some of us didn't drive like maniacs, then there wouldn't be a problem, would there? I can't believe those people that would just crash their car for no reason. Ooh, 1,000. Wow. The biggest fuel bill I think I've seen. All right, four hours to go. Here we go. Yeah, home stretch now. All right, I'm in San Jose. I've never seen this place before. Here we go, 52 minutes away. What in the heck? Uh, don't worry about me. Just, uh, yeah, you know. Oh, man, I shouldn't have done that. 5%. Well, that's definitely gonna get some kind of penalty. It's not my fault that people are closing off roads for no reason. All right, Connor, so here we are. Go oh, no! Ah, son of a bitch! Couldn't stop fast enough. Oh, well. I already got a violation. Might as well run it. Uh, all right. All right, we're good. All right, I'm just making sure we're not crashing into anything. We don't need any more damage to that thing. We already got 5%, so... Proceed to unloading area. This one better not be picky because this is the only thing I'm doing. All right, good. Here we are. We delivered it. Let's see what we did. Show results now. 80 set. God, 20 grand for five. It was 5%. Grow up, pussy. Whatever. We got more skill points. Fragile cargo. There you go. 16 grand. That's so much as well. Damn it. So close. So close to 100. What's up, man? I can't, I can't use that as clickbait anymore. Ah, oh. so man, sir. All right, seven, nine minutes away, so we're good. Whatever. You really want to play that to me? I'll crash this thing into everything, probably. Pretty much exactly the same one as we had before. Let's go. So five percent damage gets you twenty thousand dollars on these jobs, man. This is so hard to manage. <laughs> oh well. Let's just not crash into anything and we'll be fine. I mean, I would say I can't wait till I get out of California, but to be honest, I haven't really been caring much about the reduced speed limit this today. I'm probably going to regret this, but whatever. Don't do this at home, kids. Actually, you can't do it while you're at home unless you live in a truck, I suppose. Don't do this, like, on the road. Hey, this is perfect. We got gas and place to sit. Uh, I'll just pull off and head on up tomorrow perfect I can just leave this right here probably <laughs> again no damage so if I if I actually crash this thing it's gonna be uh, my fault well I guess it would be my fault either way but still and it's exactly 8 a.m. look at that almost like I planned it that way <laughs> all right let's just pick her up oh let's just but there we go. All right, and 12 hours. I think I can knock this out today. All right, I was right. I could do it in one day. <laughs> and I definitely followed the speed limit. Don't, don't, don't let anybody prove otherwise. All right. Oh well, this ain't gonna work. Oh, I shut it off. Ah, dude. All right, there you go. 
I did it. That's right. Excellent. See, that's all I gotta do. I am $600 shy of being able to use my thumbnail. Ah, oh, man. What do we got here? I try and stay away from this one because, as you can see, the condition is very low. So let's see. We got a sleeper that, ooh, that's, that looks like a pretty well optioned international. Um, uh, 41, 122. 122 seems to be the lowest, the good condition. 5,000. Uh, I was kind of hoping I'd get like an $80,000 option, but whatever. All right, well, let's see what this one's all about, I guess. Uh, give her to me. Oh, this thing is pretty nice. I might be taking this for myself. <laughs> Nah, I'm just kidding. This thing's a day cab and it's not very well optioned, I don't think. Alright, so it's $1,000 to tow to service, but if I quick travel, $66. <laughs> wow, quite quite an, a difference there. Alright. Anyway, um, replace all, let's see, eleven grand. Okay, not, not too shabby. I don't know, I like her. She's a good girl. Look at that. Oh man, that would... This looks like an actual truck, you know? And it's pretty quick, too. Oh, man. Why am I giving this to my to my employees, man? I should be giving it to myself. Whatever. Uh, let's, let's go to... So how do I do this again? Oh, truck manager, right? This is the one I'm in. Then we relocate and put it here. There you go. Now we need one more employee. And then where, where's that... Where's that... Um... That international that I saw. Is it still here? Nah, man, that sucks. Oh, wait, no, it's right here. What am I talking about? Uh, 3 to 50, 500 horsepower, 16, Eden Ultra Shift, 147,000 with 4% permanent wear. I kind of want that. I, I want that for myself, you know. 68,000. That's all we got left. But oh, this is just like the one I had before. I think it's the same truck. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Service recommendations replace uh, 13 grand against 55. Let's take a look at the um, the truck configurator. Let's see what, what we got here. So the long, we got this to the seven. Uh, we're set 45. Wow, Jesus. Uh -huh. That's expensive for this thing. Why, why is it 45 for... Oh, it's a 90... Oh, okay. I see. So refund's 47. And he's, yes, so we, what, 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 what minute? Yes, I want to cancel. Okay, this engine's 600 horsepower. That gives us 24 plus the ultra shift, 33. Uh, oh, heavy cargo is about 100%. What? Oh, man, that, that is actually pretty cool. Okay, normal cargo, heavy cargo, uneven terrain. Wow, all right. Well, let, let's do her. 21,000, so I'm gonna have to do some pretty serious hauling before I get that all sorted out. Ooh, 147,000 miles. Oh, that thing is quick. Oh, man. This is pretty much the same truck I had before. It's the same model. It's just a little bit better options and maybe higher miles, I don't know. Okay, five trucks. Uh, we did two, this is the one I had before. Uh, 8,800, then this is the one I just fixed up. Uh, let's find our new driver here, hold on. Clark and Bartos, they're, they're waiting 100, okay. Uh, okay, um, here you go, my guy, you can take that. And then Bartos can have my old truck. Hiring wave, and look at that. Crawler tractor, that's gonna be perfect for what I need. Okay, Artesia. 100, 100, let's see if I can do this. 100, um, 100,000. 70.7 per mile. Here we go. Heavy cargo, 100%. Uh, this should, this should pull this just nicely. Actually, I forgot I need to sleep first and everything, so this job's probably gonna be expired, but. Oh, I went to sleep and I all of a sudden have $31,000. Oh, interesting. That is a total first world problem. Oh my. God, I crashed. Sorry about that, bro. Not really. Fuck you. Now, I would say that is a first world problem, but I, I was about to say, I don't really see that as a problem. So, you know, even if I was in the third world, it wouldn't be a problem. Ah, $1,000 for that. Plus the $900 I paid in fines. Okay, when was this gonna end? 
Oh, man, it did end. Oh, dang it. Okay. This one's only 99. You kidding me? I still can't use it on, on my in my title. Oh, well, it's good money. I'll take it. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, yeah. For, this is the finish line. This is the start. Oh, it's the Oakland 2 Ratten. Okay. Now let's see how much this quick travel is going to be. It's probably going to be a million dollars. Two thousand. Wow. Well, I'm glad I got a company and I'm making money because if I wasn't. All right. Let's see if this international could do it. I would be very surprised if it couldn't because uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure my old international could probably tow this thing. Uh, yeah, we got no problems. <laughs> so if you guys don't remember, my international... I had this exact truck in my first truck ever that I bought. Uh, was the exact truck as this, the international. But it was set up as a day cab configuration and not, not as good as this. The engine is better, the transmission is better, pretty much everything is better in this truck. And I'm pretty sure we will have no problem... You know, pulling this thing across America again. Now time to get a million speeding fines for driving super over the speed limit in California. Because I am not driving 55. That's not going to happen. So we got, what, 5%? Like, where? Okay. Good. I'm just making sure. Because, um, I thought that the 5%, like, um, permanent wear was going to get counted towards, uh, the, you know, inspection. And I'm glad it doesn't. <laughs> Alright, so I'm getting off now. Again, absolutely perfectly. I'll have you know. Um, yeah, I got I got a $200 fine for uh, not using headlights. <laughs> but hey, look at that. Yes, I know I'm getting tired. Uh, but yeah, we've got about 7 hours to do in the morning. Uh, and I think I can do that in all in one day. I mean, I managed to do 12 in one day, so I should certainly be able to do... Um, seven in one day. Anyway, uh, I guess I'll just take the trailer with me because I'm not going to crash it today. With this, I got enough room to maneuver in this thing. These will price $4. Let's see how much we end up paying. Seven to a hundred, so about the same on fuel consumption. I would have thought this thing had been a lot worse. Can I just pull up to this? This will be perfect. Yes, we certainly can. Oh, I got four grand from Malcolm Y. Still, still ended up a little bit less off. 30,000. I mean, I had like 33,000, what? So, yeah, whatever. Whatever, I'm an idiot. Who cares? This is beautiful. I love the, the look of this truck. It's pretty cool. I mean, my previous truck had a better paint job, but this this is pretty sweet. I think actually both of my international i900s or 9000 whatever i think they're both the same color but this one looks more like a big boy truck look at me go tearing up the road in this thing i can actually go up here without going at like 15 miles an hour that truck was a good thing to start off with but uh you know doing these long haul stuff but you know I knew we were going to have to have an upgrade at some point, and this is definitely going to serve me until I can get a better truck. I don't even know if there is a better truck, honestly. Uh, I'll have to check them out. You guys are probably tired of seeing the International anyway from the previous episode, so maybe I'll go to a different brand. Who knows? But it looks nice. Those, um, those W ones, the Western trucks or whatever, those look pretty cool. So I might, I, I might try and find Western Star, yeah. So I might try and find the, those. Alrighty, here we are, boys. Uh, I should probably look at that. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Yes, perfect. We're up to 34 in just that little drive. So honestly, that's pretty good. At, at this rate, at this rate, we're going to get up to $100,000 in no time again. Well, obviously, we're going to be at the end of this, but you get what I mean. I think it's actually 3000 for a um, for a garage with five drivers in it to be 100% 100% um, efficiency or 100% productivity. Yeah, okay. So you have to make $300,000 among five people. Uh, that'll probably be a while. I think the drivers have to be uh, a higher level and, you know, they have to get, like, bonuses in certain 
deliveries and stuff before that can happen, but yeah. It might also rely on the equipment you give them. Like, I believe if you... If you do, um... I've never been able to get the, uh... The trailers correct, because every time I give them trailers to use, it always ends up being worth less than if you just take the freight jobs without your own trailers. So, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or if that's intended. Excellent again. And whenever it... I think I got a curse for $100,000 jobs. As soon as it gets past even $300 more, I would have crashed and lost $20,000. Alright, here we go. Fragile Cargo. Alright. This one is for all the marbles, ladies and gentlemen. I am so far away. This job is two hours away and it is worth $100,000. So... And it's big, so that should definitely put this truck to the test. Okay, let's do this, so... It expires in 12 hours. We didn't necessarily need that, but our heavy cargo setup is pretty high, so... Theoretically, I should be able to haul this thing with no problem. I mean, I'm not gonna say anything, but... You know, let's try it anyway. I don't know how I'm gonna get it out of here. I just realized the turn I'm gonna have to take. This is painful. All right. Let's put you to your test, this used thing that I bought. 26 hours, okay, let's see. Uh, oh man, this is gonna be... Ugh. Oh man, I wish that dumpster wasn't there. This is... Oh no. Okay, sweet. That was very nerve-wracking, but I took it. I need this turning radius on this. Oh man, I'm like, I'm gonna get a wrong way violation. But look at that! Ugh, actually, we're pulling this out, no problem. Oh, 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 oh. come days. All right. Ah, uh, you can tell I'm kind of psyching myself out a little bit here. But that's nice. Are these great fields, vineyards? Nice. Somehow I've never been on this road yet. And you remember uh, when I had some problems going this speed in those other trucks? No problem here. <laughs> 76 miles an hour. I'm not supposed to be going that fast, but whatever. Oh, okay. I just not. I've driven on this road before, just not at this part. I see. So it's like a different area, but in the same road. And then I took off from there and got onto it. Okay, I see. Interstate 80. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know Interstate 80. I have to drive that every time I go out east. I got this little town, let's not... Come on, there we go. All right, interesting. Uh, I am not gonna try and make that turn. Oh, not gonna happen. Sorry, it's gonna have to be on the street, guys. 406 diesel price. Yeah. 407, what, it said 406 on the board. Man, I'm getting screwed out of a penny, bro. Oh, I didn't think about turning around. How am I gonna do that? Well, I hope this doesn't... Oh, I hope this doesn't... Oh, and this is... Oh, I... All right, surprisingly well. Uh, let's try and avoid this pull if we can. Yeah, perfect. I hate articulated trailers. I hate them. There we go. All right. And this is going right here overnight. All right. Good night. Good night, my witch. Oh. oh, there we go. Excellent. Clark P. couldn't find a job. Oh, well, there's plenty of them. Just keep looking. Every time I check the freight market, there's plenty of them. All right, now we got 16 minutes or so. We got about um, 16 hours down the road. I'm probably not going to get to do that today. I could do the 10 and the, the 12, but I probably can't do the 16. Oh, well. We'll get as much as we can. Oh, no. Well. This this is... Oh. All right, I'm not going to try and make that turn. I'm going to turn around. Uh, well, as long as the trailer isn't damaged, I don't care about my car. Let's see. Yep, 0% still. We're good. When you got a big trailer like this, you can't be greedy. You kind of have to take whatever route you can do, you know? All right, well, I suppose um, I get to I, I get to submit to an uh, excursion or whatever this is. Yeah, it's definitely an excursion. 
98,000, that's less than I thought. So this road was technically closed, but um, I kind of went around and said, screw you. So this is up here is the reason why it was closed. This is the, o the only reason why it's closed. Just get them off the road, my god, like, come on, bro. Well, too well. I gotta get going now. See you guys later. Good luck with that. All right, I thought I was gonna have the same issues I did the other day, but uh, I didn't. We didn't have any sleep on this road until oh. we got the Pueblo. Yeah, I'm getting tired. I know. I'm getting. I'm pulling over. Game. All right. Here you go. I'm gonna leave you right there. And I'll pick you up tomorrow. I'll just sleep over here. Kenworth truck dealer. That's not the one we want, right? We want the other one. Western Star. That's right. All right, good night. The Kenworth might be good too. I don't know. Anyway, we're at $178,000. We got, uh, you know, my workers have been putting in overtime. You know what I mean? I was going to fill it up with gas, but we're only about two hours out. So I think we can make it. All right. That was painful. Ooh, I think it's cinematic mode. What the heck? There we go. <laughs> that was a cool image though. Oh my God. I have to make a turn. Are you kidding? I have to be there? Oh, how am I going to do this, bro? This is not, this, I didn't sign up for this. No. Oh, you're just asking for me to get damaged now. I got to the end game. That should be good enough. Oh no. Oh God. Dude. No way. No, okay. Oh, no, no. Okay. Oh, careful. All right. I was so close to hitting that back there. All right. Yeah, I'm, you got me fucked up if you think I'm delivering that shit. Excellent. Boom. Let's see here. Come on. Yes. I broke the curse, guys. I broke the fucking curse. I can do it now. Oh, 1466, 47 hours. Let's freaking go, dude. Fragile cargo again. Here we go. Excellent. 29. Uh, oh, yeah. These are the loans. You're $400,000. You could take $400,000. Jeez. All right. So now that I have drivers, let's take a look at this. So I can I can actually do kind of like this long distance. And then this one's. Wait. So this one was long distance. High value. No, this one's long distance. High value fragile and then i can put you on just in time delivery so uh now they'll just like prioritize that instead of just doing the balance thing i see all right so let's see if that makes any difference here yeah i definitely parked that 100 percent no i skipped that i was like fuck no i ain't parking that well that's gonna have to be it for today guys my name is laser fighter 101 Thank you for watching this episode. If you guys want to see more of this, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to this video for more awesome content. And I will see you guys later.